Hello, my name is Maddie, and here with me is Hannah, Maggie, and Jillian, and we are in our second year of the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program here at Parkland. Today we are going to be showing you different cognitive exercises and games you can play to help improve or retain your memory. There are so many reasons to play memory games in occupational therapy. Areas such as attention, focus, fine motor skills, visual motor skills, visual perceptual skills, and even handwriting can be improved through the use of memory card games. Playing a game of memory can help with short-term memory and retention of information as well. When you need to recall where you saw a card previously, you need to think back and use your mental memory skills to recall where that card was located. So here are the instructions on how to play a simple memory card game with just a deck of regular cards. Um, so first, you want to shuffle them pretty well. And then you want to face them down. So you can't see the cards. Okay. Now you can play with someone or you can just do it on your own. But for this example, I'm just going to do it on my own. So you want to flip two cards over at a time. So I'm going to flip this one and this one. And they weren't a match, so you flip them back over. And then you try again, and you basically do this until you find a match. So here I found a match, and then you would keep doing that until you get all the matches. Um, so this game is great for all ages. There are so many other memory games out there to help with retaining information more easily. Hi, I'm Maggie, and today I'm going to give you tips on how to exercise your working memory. If you have ever found yourself in a room wondering why you went in there, you might be a little concerned about your memory. Luckily, there are a few things you can do to sharpen your memory up. Researchers conducted a study to look at the relationship between regular word puzzle use and memory function. I have great news. The people who frequently played word puzzles like crosswords had an improved performance in short-term memory accuracy. So sharpen up your pencils and get ready to do some crossword puzzles with your morning coffee. If you are new to crossword puzzles, here are some tips you might want to follow on your first run. Number one, scan the clues and solve the easy ones first. This will give you a good start. Number two, guess and lightly pencil in. It may help you fill in some of the crossing words and then you'll know for sure. Number three, check the words that both cross at the last letter. Do the clues both call for a plural word? Number four, keep an open mind about the clue. It may have a double meaning. Number five, when you are stumped, put it down and come back to it another day. Sometimes these clues need to stew for a while and then all of a sudden it comes to you. Crosswords are available from easy to difficult. You can buy a book, find them online, even in large print, or use the one in your daily paper. The more consistently you do them, the better. There are many purposes to memory games. It allows for reflection and enhances brain function. Memory games can improve attention, concentration, and focus. It can also increase the ability to see attention to detail, visual recognition, and critical thinking. You can use the games to improve various cognitive and motor skills. You will need to look online for a word scramble, also known as an anagram or jumble puzzle. They range from easy to hard. There are also puzzle books that you can use. This is the one I found. It is an answer key example of what it will look like. You can do it online or print it out. I normally do mine by hand. Find a seat and get comfy because they can take a while depending on the level of challenge. I noticed people who struggle with memory and or processing actually really enjoy these puzzles and the challenge. 
They are really fun to do with friends. You can compare answers or you can even race with them. Memory games can be relaxing and allow for concentration skills to be put to the test. Thank you. Mindfulness is about bringing one's attention to experiences, being present in the moment, and bringing one's awareness back to oneself in order to connect the mind and body. Meditation that can assist with pain, anxiety, and regulating emotions. Meditation can enhance various cognitive functions including attention, memory, and executive function. Mindfulness and occupational therapy come hand in hand because it is a person-centered approach where you must focus your attention and acceptance of current experiences and a greater awareness of self and the mind and body connection in order to assist with your everyday occupations and roles. Repetition and practice are required when it comes to mindfulness. Today we will practice a short meditation session for 30 seconds. Step number one, sit or lie comfortably. You may want to find a meditation chair or cushion. Close your eyes. Make no effort to control the breath and breathe naturally. Focus your attention on the breathing and how the body moves with each inhalation and exhalation. Notice the movement of your body as you breathe without controlling the pace or intensity. For 30 seconds, we will now take a brief pause and begin our meditation. Close your eyes and take a deep breath and breathe in and out. If your mind wanders, return your focus back to your breath. Mindfulness meditation encourages the practitioner to observe wandering thoughts as they drift through the mind. So when you practice meditation, practice for two to three minutes a day and then try for longer periods. Thank you. We hope you found a useful activity today. Memory cards can improve areas of attention and focus while word puzzles can assist with short-term memory and accuracy. Memory games can improve concentration and increase of the ability to see the attention to detail. And finally, mindfulness is about bringing one's attention and experiences to connect the mind, body, and soul. These techniques are a fun way to stimulate cognitive function. We use memory skills to remember events that allow us to live independent lives. Thanks for watching.